Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new Monday. We are hoping that you're doing well and that you had a good weekend. And now we're starting a new week of online learning. And I am so excited and so happy and so proud for all of you because I know that you've been working really hard and your teachers are really proud of you. So in this new time of new learning, be very proud of yourself for all the hard work that you've been putting in. And we wanna say a special thank you for all the notes and the cards and the videos that you've been sending to your teachers. They appreciate it so much, because especially because they miss you and they've been wanting to see you and hear from you. And so those little, little reminders are just nice to hear, nice to see and hear from you every once in a while. Well, today we're gonna to be doing a read aloud and our read aloud is gonna be on the book, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. My class likes to talk about this book on a regular basis and we like to talk about the lessons that the characters learn in this book. And so today, as we're reading this book, I want you to think about the theme of the book. A theme is a lesson, a message, or a moral that we learn from the book. So we're gonna stop throughout the book and we're gonna talk about what do, you, what do we think the theme might be for this book. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. This is an AR book. It is a 2.7 level AR book. And let's go ahead and read it together. There once was a shepherd boy. He often watched his sheep near a dark forest. It was lonely and boring watching sheep all day. The people nearby were farmers working in their fields. One day, the boy thought of a way to have some fun. He ran toward the fields crying, wolf, wolf. The farmers ran to help the boy. They searched and searched, but no wolf was found. So now I'm sitting here and thinking, well, how is the boy feeling right now? Well, he's really excited. He thinks it's funny that he's tricked, uh, tricked everyone around him. And, you know, he was bored. So now he's, he's found an entertainment out of this, right? But the, there's another side to the story. There's the characters of the farmers, right? So he's run to the farmers and he's yelled, wolf, wolf. And if I were a farmer, I'd be pretty worried that there's a wolf out to get the sheep. And so they, the farmers come out and they're searching for the wolf and they don't find any. If I were a farmer and there weren't any wolves, I wonder how I would feel. Would I feel frustrated or disappointed or sad or worried? Hmm, it'd be interesting. Let's see what happens next. They stayed to talk with the boy. They wanted to be sure he and his flock were all right. The boy liked this very much. So the boy liked talking to people, right? And the farmers, they were so nice and kind and they wanted to make sure that the boy and his flock were okay. That was so kind of them. The next day, the boy tried the same trick. He ran toward the fields crying, wolf, wolf. Again, the farmer came to help. Once again, they did not find any wolf. Okay, now this is the second time that this has happened, right? I'm thinking if I were a farmer, I might start to get a little frustrated, right? This is, something's going on here. All of a sudden the wolf, there was a wolf supposedly, but the wolf's not there. I wonder, I wonder how the, how the farmers would be feeling. A few days later, a real wolf crept out of the dark forest. One by one, the wolf began to steal the shepherd's sheep. The boy needed help. He ran toward the fields as fast as he could. He shouted loudly, wolf, wolf. But the farmers who had been fooled before thought the boy was tricking them again. They did not come to help him this time. The hungry wolf had a very good meal. So this time the farmers did not come to help the boy because they started to realize that, it that they thought it was a trick and that the boy was joking with them. And so even though he had tricked them before, this time it was real, there was really a wolf. And the wolf was really hurt, going to take the sheep. 
but they didn't believe him. So they didn't come to help. And so now the hungry wolf had a very good meal. What do you think that means? The author's not really telling us what happened. They're giving us a clue to what happened. When, he, when the wolf has a hungry meal, what do you think they're eating? Yeah, they're eating the sheep. Poor sheep. Poor shepherd boy. So in this story, what do you think is the theme? What do you think we learn from this story? What is the lesson that we learn? So there could be a, there could be a couple of different themes here. Talk to your parents about what you think your theme might be for this story. One of the possible themes could be, if you, lie, if you often lie, people won't believe you when you, re when you really are telling the truth. Some people also use the theme of, you know, lying doesn't always help you out. Tricking people isn't a good idea. It's, it's not helping other people when, we when, we're, when we're trying to trick others. I don't want anybody to trick me, so maybe I shouldn't trick other people. So this is a theme for the book, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Again, it's an AR 2.7 level book. And I hope that you enjoyed this book. Um, this is one of my favorite stories, and we talk about this a lot in class and how to be honest and how to be truthful and how to help one another out and not to trick each other. So I hope that, that you have a great week and that you enjoy your, um, your time this week and that you're, you get to see with your, your classes and your friends. And this week, I would like to challenge Ms. Razo to the book challenge. Let's see if Ms. Razo will read a book for you next week. All right, I hope y'all have a wonderful week we miss you, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.